Are you in a place where you felt you've learned a lot and maybe you've done a bit of personal growth or learning about self-esteem, confidence, mindset, and then things come your way and they feel a little bit challenging, maybe a little bit overwhelming and, and tough on your emotions? Well, today I'm going to talk about theory and experience for boosting your growth and self-confidence. And if you stay until the end, I have an extra point for you then that you want to stay about for. Now, just before we dive in today, I just want to mention that if you want to keep up to date with all the latest podcast episodes, never miss any and get a free weekly confidence tip, all you got to do is click in the link in the show notes below. You can sign up to our free weekly newsletter. I've been through a lot of education in my life. And that's standard formal education in school and, and my own uh, personal growth and or my education at university as well, I meant to mention. And do you know what? Coming into the workplace was a big shock for me. Like I remember going into my first job at 16 and I was working in a supermarket. Uh, it was called Summerfield at the time. And uh, they, they rebranded. I think it's actually no. It was a supermarket called Co-op took it over. So it was renamed to that later in later years. Anyway, before we go into the history of supermarkets, which we won't do, I had my first job there and I remember being in there and feeling awful, feeling really under equipped and uh, making really stupid errors, uh, which I forgive myself for because I was only trying, right? And if you put me, to be honest, if you put me into most jobs like, that kind of thing where you got a lot to take on. I can be like, we're all different, but I, in some things I can be a very slow learner and really challenged. Now I'll keep going because fortunately I've got that in my personality type that really works for me. Yeah, I can remember thinking, I'm really educated, I was doing really well in school, yet this is really challenging for me, right? And I found the same, even though I was very educated, I found the same from university. And I, I always had this naivety that like, I've been in university, I can get loads of jobs now. I remember going into the workplace and first of all, finding a job luckily quite quickly. I went back to the school I went I went to for sixth form and started being the teaching assistant there. And then I went into the camp, the local council and and uh, a section in there. And I remember being in there and feeling really under, really like struggling. And I thought I got all this degree and I realized that actually, and I, at first I was very frustrated. Like I've got this degree, why shouldn't I be getting the other jobs? And they were talking about experience. And whilst I struggled at some elements of my job, I, I was really confused. And then I started to, re that's when I really started to, through my twenties, started to really actually understand that theory and experience are two different things. And we're not going to start talking about like full education and jobs and all those kind of things. It does link to it, of course. I also noticed this in my coaching. Like when I became a life coach at first, I, I went through the certification, learned all this great stuff, very excited, started coaching. And it was hard at first. It's really hard to be present, think about all the questions I had to ask, uh, all, the, all the ways to navigate different challenges, look at all the different body language if I was on on Zoom with someone or, or whatever we're using at the time. And from being a from doing that, it was it was like, wow, I learned all this stuff, but it's actually quite hard to implement. And then the same with sales. When I got into sales, it was like I'd learn I'd I learn all these things. And then sometimes when I go when to apply it, it was like it's really, really hard to actually build this in and implement it. And what I realized from all of these things from my life, because to be honest, it really impacted my confidence, all of those things. It was like, right, I've learned all these things. I'm ready to get out there. And then I got out there and then it's just, I found things were a lot harder than I thought. And it really impacted my confidence because it's an expectation, which is never a good thing to have versus actually reality that it's actually quite tough at the beginning to do anything, even if you've equipped yourself with knowledge, because knowledge is not power. Knowledge is only powerful when you apply it and not just apply it, but apply it consistently, right? Again and again. And think about this. Like if you go, if you know about how to work out and eat healthy and you like really educate on that and you don't do it, do you have a good body, good energy, good level of fitness? No, you've actually got to do that. 
you've got to go and eat the right things. You've got to exercise, right? You've got to actually do the workouts. If you know about it and don't do it, it's absolutely useless, right? And that's a mistake that I've made. It's like, okay, I learned all these things, but actually I'm not applying things and I'm not applying experience. Now, I do believe in always learning and growing myself, yet there's also a balance. Now, I want to ask you this. If you're like right now, and I see so many people do this, particularly in the coaching world, it's like, I've got to learn more, learn more, learn more, learn more. I've been guilty of it myself, right? But maybe how how is it apply, helping you? Because like, I'm, I'm glad you're here and listening to my podcast. This may or may not apply to you. Only you can answer. But listening to like something like this or watching all the motivational YouTube videos you want is great. It's filling your, your system with good information as opposed to something negative. Fantastic. Yeah, if you're like hearing things and you're like, my life's not changing. Well, that's because you actually need to go and apply action and experience things, right? And I'll say this as many times as it takes to get into people's mind because people are like, oh, I want to feel more confident. So I'm listening to all these like uplifting like podcasts and stuff. It's like, yeah, but you've actually got to apply. That's why I give action steps. And if you're not applying any of the action steps I give you or applying some, some well, if you're listening to me and you're, you've got some other actions from somewhere else, fantastic. I'm really pleased for you. As long as you're applying something, right? Okay, so you've actually got to take action because theory doesn't do anything, right? It's theory and experience, okay? So here are some steps that I think are really useful for really being able to build up the knowledge and experience really boost your confidence. The first thing, know your outcome. What is it you want? Like, what is it you want? Where do you want to get to? It's great listening to all the things and think, but and take up all information, but where do you actually want to go? Because you might be learning about something and you realize it's nothing to do with where you want to go, right? And sometimes we're, we're just creatures of habit and we'd be doing something for a long time and don't even realize, right? What is your outcome? That's always the key question. What do you want? The second thing, set one thing you want to focus on achieving. What is one thing that would really, over the week and each day, like, really make you feel good like that you implemented right and could be a small thing but just something to build a bit of momentum and then the third thing schedule time to learn and implement now i like to use something called net no extra time this is when you learn on the go you could be running could be walking right i also do read i schedule time for reading but i implement a lot right NET, though, is when you can learn on the go whilst you're doing something like working out, walking, driving to work, whatever it is, right? We, we've got, like, no excuse not to learn, right, right now because there's so much information we can go. So I schedule time to learn and I schedule time to implement through my weeks as well. And then the final point, celebrate. Celebrate yourself for taking action, Right? Pat yourself on the back, praise yourself, because that's going to teach you to do more of it. Okay, now I've got an extra point for you that I wanted to end on. Just for that, though, I want to mention again that if you want to keep up to date of all the latest episodes, never miss any, you get a free weekly confidence tip. All you got to do is click in the link below and you can sign up to our podcast newsletter for absolutely free. Okay, here's my uh, bonus point I want to share with you. Model your own success. And um, what do I mean by that? Say in an area, and often we think so negatively of ourselves, we were trained in that way. I know I've personally been guilty of that. But think of an area you've been successful, even if it's something that doesn't necessarily, it's not something that like completely fulfills your light shot, but maybe it's a job. Maybe there's a job like you've done or you've got, and you're really good at it. You're very skilled, right? And you know how to do it. Now, did you get good at that? Or maybe it's like learning to drive a car, whatever it is, right? Did you, or some skill or hobby you've got, did you get, look at your success. Did you get really good at that by learning about it or experiencing or both? Probably the chances are, are both. You probably learned a bit and applied a bit. Now, what I like to do is look at my podcast, right? 
I've managed to build a huge amount of uh, value over the Well, I, you know, that's what people say. Uh, you know, it's not for everyone, but that's great. But I've, I've built a lot of episodes and a lot of experience and a lot of skill from podcasting again and again. Now, for me, I learned a little bit about it, but I apply a lot more than I learned about it. Right. And that's given me results. So there's going to be an area in your life where you've been taking action. So it's always good to remind yourself which areas you've been successful in and how can you take that and maybe apply it to something where you're hesitant and you're just learning stuff and you're not applying. Right. So that's my bonus point for you as well. So that's what I got for you today. I appreciate you for being here. You'll improve your other people's lives by being the best you. And remember, you are in control of your own self-esteem and confidence.